I know it's we wonderful. Were sleeping. We were asleep, uh, obviously. No, did you get up it? at two a.m.? I did not. Oh, no. but you were working. People but in I South remember Carolina the one County. from, from yeah. last year, though. I mean, it was uh, spectacular. So yeah, there we go again. Yeah, it's How really been a we? treat for us to see it. And as I was mentioning, some folks even in our South Carolina County saw it. So it went pretty far south. What you know, what allows that continue to be possible, especially so close together these last two times? Well, like you, like Naya said, it's a geomagnetic storm, and you get these coronal mass ejections and. Basically, it's a solar storm from the sun and those gases are being interacted with and that's what gives you the different colors in the atmosphere, those shades, those purples, those reds. So something to see there and for it to get this far south, well, it's always a rarity. So hopefully you had a chance to get out there and see it. We've got the sunshine. That's what we're seeing right now. Blue skies and sunshine and some very comfortable temperatures into the 60s there. That was a live look at Lake Norman. Still at 66 in Charlotte, 63 in Statesville, 64 in Boone and still holding into the mid to upper 60s across portions of Monroe and Lancaster. Dry air in place. Look at these dew points with the dew points into the 20s and the 30s across the mountains. That's evidence of some very dry air there also across portions of the Charlotte metro area. The dew points are down into the 30s and the 40s. So we are done with that summer like humidity where those dew points will be into the 60s. That's all out of here. And as we look at our temperature trend over the next couple of days, we don't have to worry about any rainfall, but we're going to bump it up here back into the upper 70s and lower 80s here right on through Monday. But we get a drastic drop in temperatures going into Tuesday and right on through most of next week with our highs only into the 60s. That means we have a cold front on the way that'll be pushing through on Monday. But until then, we've got more of this easterly to northeasterly wind keeping us on the cool side with this area of high pressure in place. The cold front's well out to our west now, but it'll push through on Monday. We're staying sunny and dry not only for today, but right on through the weekend and the start of next week as well. Futurecast staying dry, no rainfall to speak of. Take you through this afternoon and tonight. Clear skies, cool temperatures. We're dropping back down into the 30s across the mountains, some 40s across the Charlotte Metro, then a sunny and dry afternoon expected for tomorrow. Our low temperatures will dip down into the 40s by tomorrow morning. We're going to briefly bump it up into the 50s and 60s as we get into Sunday and Monday. But again, after the passage of that cold front, we're going to be in store for more of those chilly nights and mild afternoons. That's going to be the pattern as pretty much as we go throughout the rest of October here. If you're going to be headed out to the Charlotte Ascent match for tomorrow, or I should say the Carolina Ascent, as they're going to be taking on Brooklyn FC. Tailgating forecast looking great for that as those temperatures will warm into the 70s towards the afternoon and evening hours. Seven day forecast, we've got a high of 82 for the Panthers game, 70s on Monday. Then we take the big dip down into the 60s Tuesday, Wednesday.